Alright, hey guys, it is Chris here again with another video, and in this video today we have some more breaking news uh, in regards to Lord and Taylor. So today, on Thursday, August 20th, 2020, it was just announced that the store count of Lord and Taylor store closings has increased from 19 to now 24 Lord and Taylor stores that are closing. Unfortunately, there are now some more closures in New Jersey, along with an additional closure uh, located on Long Island. So we have the article from CNBC, and this was just posted today. Lord & Taylor is closing two dozen stores. Here's a map of where they are. Lord & Taylor is set to close 24 locations. The department store chain filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection earlier this month after all their stores went back online. Department store chain Lord & Taylor is closing two dozen stores for good as it continues to search for a buyer to restructure under Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection and to keep its business alive. Deals will be up to 40% off the company, said Thursday morning, as it released a complete list of those shops that are set to liquidate. Considered the nation's first department store when it opened... Its first shop in New York in 1826, Lord & Taylor filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection earlier this month. It has joined a growing list of retailers that have been pushed to the brink during the coronavirus pandemic, but as everybody knows, Lord & Taylor has struggled way before the pandemic. So Lord & Taylor, please do not use the coronavirus pandemic as an excuse. That's a pathetic excuse for Lito Tet to use. The filing came roughly a year after Lord & Taylor was acquired from Canadian Hudson Bay Ch Hudson Bay Company by the fashion retailer subscription service Lee Tet, which is a West Coast-based company, unfortunately. More than 6,000 permanent store closures have been announced by retailers so far in 2020, according to CoreSite Research. A number of retailers that have filed for bankruptcy this year include JCPenney, Brooks Brothers, Steinmart, and Pier 1 Imports account for a hundred, hundreds of those. Mall owners face an especially heavy burden when a department store closes permanently. Those spaces, which can span multiple levels with elevators and more than 100,000 square feet, are increasingly hard to replace with new uses. U.S. mall owners Simon Property Group and Make Eric have recently hinted at a potential at a potential of adding more grocery stores to the centers, a trend that is much less common in, in America compared with other countries. Lord & Taylor's act liquidation sales are being spearheaded by Hillco Merchant Resources and Gordman Brothers. So... Everybody knew about these closures much earlier. There was a, a couple of additional closures that are now, this is all the closures that are currently going on. So Connecticut is now, is losing all three, meaning Stanford will be the last one. Uh, Danbury, Fair Mall in Danbury, Connecticut, the Westfield Trumbull in Trumbull, Connecticut, um, Wood, North Br Brook Store, Woodfield Mall, if any of my fans from Illinois know that these stores are now closing, the Natick Mall, the Natick Collection, I believe it's called now. A White Flint store, which is a classic Otis Lexan, so that is now going away. The Livingston Mall store in Livingston, New Jersey, which um, that video will be uploaded today. Uh, the Willowbrook Mall store at the Willowbrook Mall in Wayne, New Jersey. The Rockaway Town Square store in Rockaway, Dover, New Jersey, which I will now be planning a trip to go see that store specifically. Um, that'll probably be at some point, either maybe next week or at the end of September. Um, I won't get a street view of these stores. It's a lot to go over. Westfield South, sure, everybody knew about, and this is a big blow. Um, this is I Hate Escalators local Lord & Taylor store at the Walt Whitman Shops in Huntington Station, New York, and this store is now slated to close. Um, and then these are all the other closures. Um, the Balsinwood store in Pennsylvania, meaning King of Prussia will be the only one left, and everybody knew about that. Um... But yeah, this is very sad that more that more Lord and Taylor stores are slated to close. I visited Willowbrook. I visited Livingston. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting back to Rockaway at some point. What I might end up doing is I'll check the hours one day and I'll just take a drive out there. I'm going to go see, I think I'm going to go see Whitman and Bayshore within the next couple of weeks. So definitely stay tuned for some more Final Ride Elevator videos and Final Ride Escalator videos. Um, Willowbrook is already up. I'm literally going to put Livingston Mall up to literally directly uh, after this video does go up. So you guys can definitely check that out today. Um, so meaning this store is gone. This store is gone. This store is gone. This store is gone. The um, the other store, I think it's this store is gone. And this store is gone. The two Paramus stores will only be the only two left in this region. Willowbrook is gone. Livingston is gone. Rockaway is gone. Meaning the next closest Lord & Taylor after... Westfield Garnestay Plaza will be in downtown Westfield, New Jersey.
So it'll be the two Paramus locations, which are in Bergen County, the one in Union County, and the one in Summers County. And you also got the Freehold store too, but at guys, I think at this point, Lord and Taylor, pretty much like Sears, is done. Um, I don't see a path forward, and I would not be surprised if there's going to be more closures um, after they after the liquidators are done completing the liquidation sales at these stores. Personally, I'm not going to get a street view of every single store. It would just take way too much time, and I don't really want to spend a lot of time uh, on one store. You know, this is several store closures, and a lot of them are 90s Lord and Taylor stores, but... Um, I will be going to Rockaway. I was literally at Livingston uh, a week, a week, a week ago today. Um, but I will figure out a way to get out to Rockaway Town Square at some point. So, anyways, so that is about going to do for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please make sure to check the link in the description below for more information uh, regarding the Lord and Taylor uh, store closures. And if your local Lord and Taylor store is closing, you know, leave 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 some comments below and see and think about your thoughts of Lord and Taylor and Lito Tech closing all these stores. Anyways guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video and that will be it.